uh, hello viewers and uh, welcome to my channel uh, today's topic is uh, uh, pemphigoid you know but before starting i would like to request you to like subscribe and share these videos to support this channel you know and if you need more information about uh, any disease or any medical condition uh, you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com you know and now we come to the topic what is uh, pemphigoid you know you know it's a, a rare autoimmune disorder and uh, it can develop at any age so there's no age restriction or limited to any age group you know and uh, including kids but there's most uh, uh, most affects the elderly people you know and uh, it's caused by a malfunction of the immune system and results in skin rashes uh, skin blisters on the legs on the arms and on the abdomen you know and uh, it can also cause blistering on the mucous membranes and uh, you know the mucous membranes produce mucus that helps to protect uh, the inside of your body and uh, it can be found on the mucous membranes in your eyes in your nose in your mouth or in uh, genitals you know and it can also occur during the pregnancy in some women uh, well there is no cure it is this autoimmune disorder uh, but there are many treatments options you know just to control the symptoms you know uh, you know there are many types and all types uh, uh, are caused by the autoimmune disorder and uh, they appear on the rash as the rashes uh, as the fluid filled blisters and the types of uh, like uh, uh, pemphigoid differ in terms of uh, where on the body the blistering occurs and when it occurs you know now the most important types are like uh, uh, a bullous uh, pemphigoid or uh, secretarial uh, pemphigoid or uh, pemphigoid gast uh, like uh, gestations you know that's a word which happens during the pregnancy you know now i'll start with the uh, bullous uh, pemphigoid you know is the most common uh, type you know and it causes the skin blistering happens most commonly as uh, on the arms or maybe on the legs you know uh, and mostly on the parts of the body where the movement occurs you know and uh, the legs and the arms they are the most uh, uh, parts which involve the movement you know and uh, this includes in the areas around the joints and the lower abdomen you know so the next uh, type is uh, uh, secretarial uh, pemphigoid you know so uh, it's also known as uh, or called as the mucous membrane uh, pemphigoid you know and uh, it refers to like uh, blisters that form on the mucous membranes uh, include like mouth or maybe nose maybe eyes maybe throat maybe genitals you know and uh, the most common sites uh, which are affected by this type of uh, the condition uh, they are the mouth and they are the eyes you know and uh, uh, the rash and the blistering uh, may begin in one of these areas and they spread to other parts uh, if it's left untreated you know and if it's left untreated in the eyes it can cause scarring uh, which may lead to the blindness so uh, you should never ignore this you know and uh, the third one is uh, uh, pemphigoid gestations you know uh, so just gestation is uh, uh, gestation is uh, uh, pemphigoid, you know, pem uh, pemphigoid, you know. Well, in this type, uh, the blistering occurs during or shortly after the pregnancy, and it's called uh, uh, pemphigoid gestationus, you know. So it was formerly called as herpes gestationus. And although it's not related to the herpes virus, you know, but it was uh, uh, known as, you know. Now, in this type, uh, the blistering typically develops during the second or the third trimester, but may occur at any time during the pregnancy, you know, uh, or up to maybe six weeks after the delivery. 
So the blisters tend to form on the arms, on the legs, and on the abdomen. You know, uh, it's an autoimmune disease. Uh, we don't know the exact cause, uh, but all we know is that uh, the immune system mistakenly begins to attack your healthy tissues. You know, and uh, uh, in the case of uh, uh, this condition, you know, your immune system creates antibodies to attack the tissues just below your uh, outer layer of the skin. And this causes the layers of the skin to separate and result in painful blistering. And uh, it's not fully understood why the immune system reacts this way in the people with the, uh, living with the uh, pemphigoid, you know. Uh, in many cases, uh, there's no specific trigger. Uh, but for some cases, you know, it may be caused by certain medications, maybe due to radiation therapy or maybe ultraviolet light therapy. You know. uh, now the next thing is what are the symptoms, you know? Well, the most common symptom is blistering that occurs on the arms, on the legs or on the abdomen or the mucous membranes, you know. And the hives and the itching are also common so the blisters have certain characteristics regardless of where the body they form you know whether they are on arms or legs or on the abdomen you know, they have certain characteristics you know for example there are red rash develops before the blisters okay and the blisters are large and filled with the fluid that's usually clear uh, but may contain some blood you know okay the blisters are thick and don't rupture easily right so the skin around the blisters may appear normal or maybe slightly red or dark you know and the ruptured blisters are usually sensitive and they are painful so these are the characteristics of these blisters you know uh, your doctor will mostly refer this to the dermatologist you know or the doctors who specialize in the skin diseases you know and uh, a dermatologist will be able to make uh, a fairly firm diagnosis by examining your blisters, you know, and uh, you may not need more uh, tests, you know. But uh, sometimes your doctor may be interested to perform the biopsy, you know, of the skin, you know, of that, those blisters, you know. And uh, this will involve like uh, removing the small samples of the skin from the affected areas you know and then it will be sent to a lab for analysis to see under the microscope uh, then the lab technician or the pathologist they will test those uh, samples for the immune system antibodies uh, characteristic of uh, like uh, uh, pemphigoid you know so these abnormalities can also be detected in your blood, so you may need to have a small sample of blood drawn as well, you know, so, so these are the important uh, diagnostic tests, you know, but most of the time uh, you don't need any lab tests, you know, so your doctor will uh, be able to uh, diagnose just by the visual examination, you know. What's diagnosed and what are the treatment options is uh, the next step, you know. Well, as we know that it's... Uh, autoimmune disorder so it cannot be cured uh, but we can reduce the symptoms you know uh, like uh, by using corticosteroids you know either on the pill form or maybe on the topical form you know and uh, will likely be the first treatment of uh, your by your doctor you know so these medications uh, function is that they reduce the inflammation they can help to heal the blisters and relieve the itching, you know. So they can also cause like significant side effects, you know, especially uh, for the long term use, you know. So uh, don't use the corticosteroids without uh, your doctor's prescription, you know, or without doctor's advice, you know. And uh, another treatment option is uh, to take the medications that suppress your immune system, you know. And uh, often in conjunction with the corticosteroids. So immunosuppressants help. Uh, they may put you at risk for other infections, you know. So uh, again, uh, uh, 
don't use these uh, medications without your doctor's advice. Uh, and if there is infection, then the tetracyclines uh, may be prescribed to reduce inflammation and infection, you know. Well, with the comprehensive treatment, outlook is very good. And most people respond well to the medication, you know. And uh, the disease will often go away after a few years of uh, treatment, you know. Uh, but uh, it may return at any time. Uh, even with the proper treatment, you know, so there is, a, uh, we cannot predict it, you know, so that it will never come back, so it can come back anytime. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website, which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com. And please do not forget to like, subscribe, or share these videos to support this channel. Thank you. Goodbye.